hi guys and welcome or welcome back to our channel another day another video i know you guys see your girl rocking a new hairstyle if you've been following me well it's not new to me it's new to y'all because your girl got thin edges but why are we trying to hide them i ain't the only one with thin edges so who cares but anyways guys so in today's video i decided to do something a little different I am gonna do the what's inside my iPhone video for you guys. Cause I know some of y'all nosy and probably wondering what's in my phone. Some of y'all probably don't care, but I'm gonna show y'all anyway. So let's jump into the video guys. So I currently have the iPhone 13 Max Pro and I have the 15 Max Pro, but we are gonna show y'all the 13. So let's get right into the video y'all. All right, guys, so of course my screensaver is of me and my beautiful kids when we went to Disneyland. If you guys haven't checked out that vlog, go run and check out that vlog. We had an amazing time. Guys, I know my husband never be in the pictures. He always making me seem like I'm a single parent, but I promise he's in the picture, y'all. And he's a great and amazing father and husband. He just doesn't like, he doesn't like pictures and videos and neither does my son. But my son, you see him more than you see my husband. But anyway, guys, so yes. My screensaver is my kids, guys. So, first things first, we're going to start with a little music category. Guys, I love music, especially like when I'm depressed or when I'm feeling down. I love to listen to music and just block out everything. Um, I like listening to like the oldies. I, I don't, this new stuff, I, it ain't for me. Like, it don't be making sense. The lyrics don't be making sense. They be talking about nonsense, like give me the old stuff like i like the late like early 2000s even some old like the old school music that's me i might like do a little dance to this new stuff but trust me i don't listen to it my favorite artist is queen Nigel. like she is so relatable but anyways guys so i do have audio mac on my phone um i like listening to audio mac but i prefer pandora so i do listen to pandora like when i'm at the gym or um i mainly listen to pandora like when i'm at the gym and just play like early 2000 music and just let it play um we also have youtube of course i gotta have youtube i'm i'm you know upcoming youtuber so i gotta have the youtube app and the youtube studios so i can get all my little you know see if you guys is watching and liking and commenting on my videos and then i also have tiktok guys fun fact i barely got on TikTok. When I started YouTube is when I got on TikTok, guys. I was not following the TikTok trend, but I mean, if I'm trying to be this this social media influence, I gotta be where people is at. So I just started TikTok, so go ahead and follow my TikTok, guys. All that is in the link in the description. Um, So I have Disney Plus. I am a kid at heart. I love Disney movies. Give me a Disney movie and I'm gonna watch it. I don't care how old I am. Disney be having some good movies. So I do have the Disney Plus app, guys. And then I have iHeartRadio downloaded. Um, I actually don't even use that app. I don't even know why it's on my phone, but it's on my phone. Then I have Peacock. Guys, Peacock be having some good movies. And fun fact, some of the movies that be released in the theaters, they put it on Peacock, like, early. They're released on Peacock. Some of them you have to pay, but majority of them are free, and they be having some good movies. So y'all go check out Peacock. On to food. Guys, if you don't know, now you know. I'm going to save a dollar wherever I can save a dollar. So if I can get a coupon, if I can get a discount, if I can get some money off, your girl's going to get it. So I have Baker's, El Pollo Loco. I have um, Farmer Boys. Even though we really don't eat at Farmer Boys, when I used to work at my old job a few years ago, I would go to Farmer Boys. So that's why I still have that app. I have Juice It Up, Ming Cheese. For those of you who don't know what Ming Cheese is, it's a frozen yogurt place um, in the area where I live. I know it's not, there's not a Ming Cheese um, everywhere, but in the area where I live, there's a Ming Cheese. Popeyes. Um, Fetch, which was, Fetch is like a... Guys, in editing the video, I remember what Fetch was. Fetch is an app where you can scan your receipts. Like if you go to the grocery store, you can scan your receipts and it end up adding up to points, which you can get something in return.
an app where you could like track your mileage and get like discounts on gas and stuff like that. And then Chick-fil-A, like guys, recently Chick-fil-A has been my thing, but I don't know if you guys know, but they've recently changed their chicken and you can tell sometimes it'd be good. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes it'd be dry, but your girl still love her Chick-fil-A, even though they don't went up on a price and having five people in your family, it gets really expensive. So me and my husband try to sneak off when we don't have the kids to go to Chick-fil-A. Shh, don't tell them. And we have education, guys. For those of you who do not know, who have not been following us, I do have three kids. Uh, my son is 13. My daughter is 10, about to be 11 in 10 days. And then I have another daughter who's nine. So, you know, I got to stay up to date with their grades, their attendance, make sure they're doing good. Because if not, they're going to be in trouble. So I have Parent View, Class Dojo, Remind, and Meet. Stay up on your parents. Stay up on your uh, kids' grades, parents. Um, we have photography. Um, I have Google Pictures from when I had um, my Android. When I switched over to iPhone, um, I still kept all of my photos, of course. So I have the Google Photos and then, of course, the photos that come with the iPhone. I have Boomerang. Um, I have a collage app. I have Canva. Fun fact, Canva is what I use to do my YouTube thumbnails. And then I have Villo, which is what I use to edit my videos. And then I have CapCut, which is an app that I use to um, get like templates and sometimes I'll use it to edit but majority of the time I use Villo. On to the next, on, on to the next. Okay so I have the Instacart Shoppers app downloaded and I have the Ship app um, downloaded. Spark, Amazon Shopper, I think it's called Amazon Flex and then DoorDash. Fun fact I've never used DoorDash, I've never used Amazon Flex. Um, I have used the Ship app and I have used the Instacart and the Spark app. Um, I have, I stopped using it, but I still keep it on my phone in case, you know, I want to do it, make a little extra money on the side. It don't hurt. Um, so yeah, guys, I have those apps. Oh, and then Branch was an app that um, I used when I was doing Instacart and Ship. Um, that's how they um, deposit your money on there. So yes. And then Stride. Honestly, guys, I don't even remember what Stride is. I believe Stride was... I ain't gonna even lie. I don't even know what Stride is. But it's on my phone and I used it. So, I just can't remember. Okay, guys. I have the uh, my little section that I got it named Shopping. Because your girl loves to do online shopping. Well, I really don't. Your girl is cheap. For those of you who don't know, I'm really cheap. Like, I'll go on Amazon and have a cart full of stuff. And then... Before I go to check out, I'd be like, do I really need that? And then I'll click off and then I'll click back on, click off, click back on. And then days later, I'll be like, okay, let me just get it. So I have a problem. But anyway, so I have Amazon Groupon. Like I said, like I said, girl, your girl loves a discount. So if you guys don't have Groupon, you need to go download that because you can get a lot of stuff cheap, discounted, um, different like places fun places food places so go download Groupon if you have if you don't have that app Bath and Body Works I have Bath and Body Works I have Bath and Body Works I have Dave and Buster's PayPal Walmart Timu Timu has some really good cheap quality stuff that's like it the it, like in price is cheap but the quality is good some of the stuff is not so just make sure you read your reviews if you guys are shopping on timu but you can get some really good cheap stuff on timu don't underestimate timu um i have expedia for when i'll be going to go on trips and then i have sheen sheen is another good um another good app that has cheap good quality clothing but just like timu some of the stuff do be like cheap quality so you guys need to make sure you're reading your reviews and then i have alta beauty and then cinemac if you have not been following our channel like my husband and my kids and i we love going to the movie so anytime there's a new movie we're gonna go see it so i have the cinemac cinemark app downloaded to get once again discount on um the foods and then I get, um, we're signed up for like the membership. So I get like a free movie ticket every month. It rolls over. I can cancel it and, you know, not 
lose all our money if we, you know, buy a ticket and then choose not to go see the movie. But anyways, guys. Um, so I have my bank app. I have my Zmodo app, which is one of the cameras in my house. Cash app, which I don't really use cash app, but I still have it on here in case I do need it because I don't like sliding my card everywhere. So I'll just like, you know, upload money on the cash app and then use the cash app card because people be out here trying to scam and it ain't nobody got time for that and then i have my life 360 app even though everybody in my house has iphones i still um like to track them through the life 360 just to have like another source just in case something goes wrong with the iphone and vice versa i have the iphone app just in case you know something goes wrong with the 360 app but the 360 app is similar to the iphone it tracks it tells you the location it tells you how fast you're going it literally tells you everything so that's another good app to have if you guys don't have an iphone um and you would like to track like your family or friends you can download the live 360 app and it does the same exact thing okay so i have my game section which i love playing games on my phone I have Monopoly Go. If you guys aren't playing Monopoly Go, then what are you doing? Monopoly Go, guys, this game is so addicting. Like, the worst thing that I could have, have ever done was put my husband on Monopoly Go. Like, he is so annoying when it comes to Monopoly Go. I'd be like, bro, I wish I would have never introduced you to Monopoly Go. Like, he is obsessed and he is annoying with Monopoly Go. Um, I have an app called Travel Town. It's pretty fun. So, if I'm not playing Monopoly, I love to play Travel Town. Then I have a jigsaw puzzle app. I love, 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 love to do puzzles. Um, I just like to do puzzles, get lost in the time, put my music on. Sometimes my kids help me if I have like a physical puzzle here at the house. But I downloaded the app because um, if I'm on the go or if I have like a long drive, I like to do the puzzles. And it's like basically the same thing as if you had a physical puzzle, but it's on your phone. So I love it. Candy Crush. I used to be obsessed with Candy Crush like obsessed but when i found the monopoly go um app i don't even play candy crush no more to be honest pool i really don't play that no more either i had downloaded that because me and my husband sometimes play but like i said since i've been on monopoly go all these other games i rarely even touch um i have max triple 3d that's a game where you like have to match the foods i like it it's a fun game and then i have classic classic word what is this called See, I don't even have it. It's still got to download on my phone. Um, but until that download, I have Brain Teaser 1, 2, and I think 4. So I have 1, 2, and 4. I love those games. You have to, like, figure out the riddles. So I love... Guys, if you don't know me, like, I'm a deep thinker. I love to, like, think way past what the majority of people like to think. So I like to play those kind of tests to, like, figure things out. Just like how we just did the escape room. Guys, if you haven't watched that live, go watch it. It was so much fun. Um, so, yeah, I love playing games like that. And then oh, oh, it's called Classic Word. It's kind of like Scrabble, but a little different. So I haven't played that game in a minute either, guys. Color Switch, Family. I don't even know what that's called, but I don't play that no more. I might as well just delete that off of my phone and then I have scavenger hunt which is a game where they give you like um pictures of things that you have to find I like that game too obviously it's on my phone y'all but what else do I have on here um I have my emails my app my I cannot talk today I have my emails my maps guys fun fact I am not good with directions whatsoever if I don't have maps I'm not going like I am not good with directions and another fun fact i hate driving hate 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 driving i don't like it 10 out of 10 do not recommend i was never that type to was like i can't wait to grow up and drive no i waited i waited my time i was a kid and i stayed a kid because 10 out of 10 do not recommend adulthood but i hate driving um i have my notes section my calendar my contacts i have my amazon alexa my calculator clock settings app store easy cast which is um an app where i could hook my iphone up to the tv and whatever is on my iphone it'll show on the tv um i have the apple store i have this let me see what it's called it has to download and then i have my fire tv 
app because my husband cannot seem to not lose the controller so i downloaded the app on my phone so that i could use my phone as the controller um i'm waiting for this app to download so that i can see what it's called but i do know that it's an app that i use for ringtones even though i only have one ringtone which is my husband and well two i have a ringtone for my husband and then i have a ringtone for my kids everybody else has the same ringtone um this app is gonna take forever to download y'all But while that's downloading, on to the next, on, on to the next, on to the next. Um, I have my Ring app for the Ring cameras at my house, guys. It's 2024. If you ain't got cameras on your house, then you need to go get some because people is crazy. So go get some cameras on your house, y'all. And then the MyQ, which is the app for my garage door so I can open and control my garage door from my phone. Um, y'all, this app is taking forever to download. But I think it's called Garage. I don't know what it's called, but it's taking too long to download. But like I stated, it's for um, it's for ringtones on the iPhone. If you didn't know, yes, you can get ringtones on the iPhone and you do not have to pay for them. So you can use this app right here. I also have um, my health and fitness, my healthcare and fitness section, which um, the health app that came on the iPhone um which you can track your cycle your steps your weight um a bunch of different things your blood pressure um my fitness app which is shoes um that's the app for my gym uh, my fitness app my watch and then grow with joe app if you guys have watched my past lives where i went live working out i told you guys that i like working out to grow with joe this is her app right here she has an app where um, she has a lot of different workouts. Um, she'll give you like uh, food, different foods to eat, you can track your water, your fasting. Um, but that one is a paid app, just to let you know. Um, that's pretty much all I have on my phone, guys. I do have my watch app, which you can currently see my phone, my watch is charging. Um, but that's pretty much all I have on my phone, guys. Um, so yeah, if you want me to do another video of what I have on my iPhone 15 Max Pro, then just go ahead and link that in the comment section below. And guys, fun fact, like I've literally had so many iPhones. I've had the iPhone 11, which I currently gave to my, uh, my girls. Then I had the iPhone 12, which I gave to my son. And mind you, these are practically new phones. Like I've had them a couple of months and then when the new iPhone come out, I'll get another one. So I just gave them to my kids. Um, and then I've had, like I said, this is the 13 Max Pro and then I currently have the 15 Max Pro. So if you guys want me to do a video on what I have on my iPhone 15 Max Pro, just let me know down in the comment section and I'll do that for you guys. That is all that I have on my iPhone, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and make sure you hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post a video. And make sure you guys are subscribed because if you're not following us, then what are you doing? <laughs> subscribe, y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.